Today, I'm going to show you how to build your wing play system with the squad, the tactics, the works. Come on. So tell me, do you want to see goals like this? Or how about this? And I know you want goals like this one. That's right, folks. So today, we're going to get down and dirty with it. We're going to go detailed. We're going to work out how to build a tactic with wing play in mind and the right squad around it. So when I say wing play, what do we mean? Well, to me, it's fast transition. So we're not looking at a patient passing approach. We're looking to get the ball forward pretty damn fast. For that, we're going to focus down the flanks. Obviously, it's pretty obvious in wing play, right? We need a hard working team to make this happen. And we'll go into more detail later on. This team needs to be well organized. And we need to provide a constant goal threat. Now for this, we're going to use Gillingham down in Sky Bet League 2. I really like wing play for lower league teams, but there's nothing to say it doesn't work higher up, but we're going to start low down. The plan is to play 10 or 15, 20 games, something like that. It's going to be a bit of a challenge because as you can see by the pre-season predictions, 16th place is expected for Gillingham. So look, that's the intro done, the setup. Here is what's happened after 10 or so games with Gillingham. After 12 games, so far so good. We're sitting top of the league after winning 9 out of 12. Only losing two, and one of those was because we were down to 10 men, so it's a really good start. If I take your attention down to the player stats, you can see we've got the top scorer, the top average rating, and the top assist maker. And probably more vital than that, and more telling, is the team stats. You can see we're top scorers by quite some way. Crosses completed and cross completion percentage, we are top up there. Tackles won, which is essential as well for this style of play we're going to use. We're in the top three. Dribbles made and dribbles per game as well. Way up there. This is looking good. So now I guess the question is, how did we do this? How did we do this with Gillingham to make them the best wing play team in the league? Okay, for the main formation, we're going to use 4-4-2, the classic 4-4-2. Once you've got to grips with it, you can then merge that into like a 4-3-3, things like that. But we'll start with the 4-4-2. With that in mind, the presets are not a bad place to start, you know. They're not a bad place to start. So if we select wing play under the presets, go to formation, and we'll select 4-4-2, and we'll load it in. And that is what FM throws back at us. You can see the team instructions down the side, and all the player roles as well. I don't necessarily agree with all the player roles. We're going to change them as we go. But the basics are there. The basics are good, especially the in possession. Not a lot wrong there. We're going to tweak it as we go. We're going to go through pre-season, trying different things, and getting it right. For example, straight off the bat, I know I won't be playing a wing back with a winger. That will change. And I know also that the deep line forward will be a target forward because we want someone to aim at who's going to be the focal point of the attacks. We also want to be really careful with the central midfield positions. We don't need them roaming out wide or going too far either way. We want them to concentrate in this zone here. They're going to be fully responsible for that. We've got enough players out wide. I want them in this box here. If you look at the central midfield roles, a lot of them, including box-to-box -box midfielder, has hard-coded roam from position. Mazala, for example, also has roam from position moving to channels. A lot of them, obviously the roam for playmaker is going to roam around. A lot of them will roam and leave that central midfield zone. For this reason, both roles, I think, we're going to go with a blocker clear and central midfielder. They have no specific instructions and we can mould them the way we want to. So now we have a central midfielder on support and a central midfielder on defence. The central midfielder on support will get a little bit further forward, helping out the front two. And the central midfielder on defence will be more in charge of this sort of area here. But both will maintain their positions in this sort of zone. So we've started to put the tactic and formation and roles together now. We're going to get there by end of pre-season, step by step. So it's going to take a little while. But we can't put the tactic together yet until we know what we're working with. We need to analyse the squad to make sure we're able to play this wing play style. This is where this gets a bit interesting because normally we would not recommend that you go into a club thinking you're going to play a certain style. You're going to have to adapt it to what your squad can do. But today is all about wing play. So we're going to make sure we've got the players. And if we haven't, we'll have to get some in. So how do we do that most effectively? So we need to break it down step by step. Look, we know we're going to play wide. So we need to have a look at our fullbacks and our wingers. And that's where we're going to start. We're going to start with how do our available fullbacks look? There's a few ways you can do this. Obviously, you can go through your fullbacks one by one, focus on them, having a look, but that's going to take some time. You're not going to get a true snapshot or comparison with your players. So, one way to do it, go up to this tab here, drop it down to attributes, player roles, then either select your fullback or wingback. We're going to say fullback because I'm pretty sure we're going to use a fullback on support. We'll press that, and then up in the corner comes all the attributes, FM deems, are vital for a fullback. 
Now obviously we've got all the players focused on there, so we don't need all of them. We don't need a goalkeeper, for example. So we'll go over to filter, drop this down, untick positions, then select defenders, and then take out central. And what we're left with is the clutch of players who are able to play fullback. Now from the brief snapshot, it looks like we've got a good clutch of players, one, two, three, four, seven that are capable of playing at fullback and their attributes are not too bad. For this level, I'm always looking for around double figures and above. So the snapshot shows me we've got a decent amount. However, I like to get a bit more detail than that. What I like to do is set up my own custom views, like the one that FM just gave us, but with some additional things that I think are vital. So what we'll do is we'll go up to selection info again, over to custom, and I come down here and I've got them all loaded up already. I'll include these in the Discord as well. Go to Stinger fullback, and now you can see it's nicely laid out and shows exactly what I need to see. I've got attributes that I deem vital across the top there, and I've added in preferred foot, because we didn't see that in the last view. Now we've got a much better snapshot. Things are more focused into mental, physical and technical attributes. And I've got preferred foot down the side there and I can see I've got a good spread of left and right footers. So instantly I know that fullbacks are not going to be an issue. Looking at it in a bit more detail, you can see the attributes I deem essential for a fullback. I've got determination, teamwork, positioning and work rate. They're going to have to do quite a lot of work when you consider we're going to be focusing play down both flanks. That ties in with stamina, acceleration, pace and natural fitness. And the more technical side of it, we've got passing, tackling, crossing, and marking. And we're going to do the same for the wide positions in the wingers, the more attacking role. You can do the same. You can go to selection info, go down to attributes, and you can select your play roles and do wingers. What we're going to do today is the custom one I've made for wingers. We'll go down here, sting a winger, and there we go, all in there. We'll filter it down, and there we go. Now, numbers-wise, it looks yet again like we've got a good spread of numbers, so it shouldn't be a problem bringing anyone in from that perspective. If I look at attributes, again, I'm pretty happy at this level. Pretty happy. Some of them have even got high teens in there. So it looks like we've got a good spread. Foot-wise, maybe we could do with an extra left footer in there. So that's something to think about. But initially, I can see from the attributes that there shouldn't be a problem and they're going to be a vital position. There's quite a bit of crossover from full-backs as well. But there's some added ones that are different. So we've got determination, vision, teamwork, off the ball and work rate. So we've got vision and off the ball because obviously these are going to be more your creative players as well. We've got stamina, acceleration, pace and natural fitness from the physical section. And then we've got more creative duties in the technicals such as passing, dribbling, crossing and technique. With this information I was given, I can now start selecting my players. Now the game says Robbie McKenzie would be the best for the role, but what I've seen, it will be Shea Alexander. So you shouldn't always judge it on the star ratings. We've had a good look at the attributes. Shea Alexander is the one. He goes in at right back. And we've done that for the fourth positions. And now interestingly, to Tunda here, he's more a left back, but his attributes work perfectly for the winger role. And that's what he's going to be. You still with me? The last one I look into in great detail is the two central midfielders because they are so vital to keep this whole thing knitted together. So what we've got here is the central midfielder, the workers I like to call it, Stinger workers midfield. And again, I've got great numbers and for this level with the amount of games, that's going to be damn handy. And if you can see here, the attributes, they look good, don't they? They look really good. Some high teens there, Stuart O'Keefe, who's unfortunately injured. He looks great from the offset. A good distribution of left and right footers and the attributes for this one. Bravery, determination, teamwork and work rate, stamina, natural fitness. You're getting a vibe here. Passing and tackling as well. That's it. There's no flair. There's no crossing. We don't need them to do that job. We need them to be hard working and structured. Using that technique has helped me form the team now and it's looking decent. We've got a target forward. I will say I wanted to target forward. He's going to drop off and get into this zone here. Remember, our central midfield defense will rarely go forward. So he's going to drop off to provide the link and he's a big physical presence. Next thing, we need someone who's going to break the lines a little bit more, get into that box, break the channels. We've got for pressing forward at the minute. We may change that. We're going to see how it plays in pre-season. So we've got the setup sorted. I think we're nearly there on the rolls. We'll tweak for our pre-seasons. Now it's time for the base team instructions. So initially what you see down here is off the preset. That's a preset wing play. I feel like we need to tweak it somewhat. We've got slightly direct passing on there. We're going to scale that back till I can see what my team are capable of. Now we're playing wide, aren't we? So focus play down the left and right makes total sense. I don't want to see overlaps though. Overlap left and right will mean that when Totonda gets the ball advanced or Adelkan, they're going to hold it. And rather than go attacking and make the cross, they're going to hold it waiting for these guys to get around them. We don't need that, so we're going to take that off. Also, although wide may seem sense playing wide, I don't think we need to do that because remember, when you play wide, 
like this, everyone stretches out a bit. If you bring it in a bit, that means that the planes come closer together, so it'll make us a little bit more solid in that middle. And because I'm going for structure and a nice team shape, I'm gonna add in Be More Disciplined as well, just to make sure that no one strays from their position. We keep it a little bit more solid. In transition, I'm not too angry about distribute to flanks and counter. I'm gonna take flanks off, because sometimes you can just end up with an aimless ball from your keeper to no one in particular. So we're gonna draw it back a bit, I think. And instead, we'll go to full backs instead. So we're still starting wide, we're just going a bit more safety first. Our position, it's got a standard low block here. If we look at it closely, you can see that is super low on the defensive line. The low block and the standard defensive line. To me, that's just a little bit too low. So to get the players closer together, I'm gonna to push this up initially to higher. This is not a great deal of difference, but it just brings everyone a bit more closer together, a bit more compact. And we're gonna throw in, get stuck in as well, because we really need to make sure that we win the ball back quickly and then get it out to these wide men. So a tactic take one then, there's a 4-4-2, simple stuff. Team instructions down the side. We've tweaked the preset custom wing player to suit what we want it to be. The opposition of Wickham was ideal in the preseason friendlies and this taught me a bit. So if you play this on a bit, you can see that we've got the high line and that might be a problem because the ball's gone over the top and we left a bit too much space in behind. As Hanlon gets there, slots them in, fire deflection. Positives, the front two look like they're working well together. Pressing forward, Cash gets to target forward Mandron coming from deeper. So that defensive line might not be working. We can see again, they get in behind here. A few deflections, in it goes. So I think we'll tweak that. In the second half, we changed from direct passing to just standard. So mixing it up a bit, keeping some a bit short, we seem to keep the ball a little bit better and using the wings into the gaps seems to work well. The winger to the target forward, beautiful wing goal. Now we lost the match to a far post header, but that is against a team at a division above. Worries are that we're conceding too many chances. A lot of shots come there, high XG, so we need to tweak the tactic for sure, but decent start. Going into the next match against Oxford, tweaks we've made after that last match. We've changed central defender from stopper to normal defence so he doesn't go too far ahead, leaving that gap in behind. And to help that out as well, we've dropped the defensive line and we've gone with a mid block rather than a low block to see if that helps. In possession, we've dropped the direct passing and the focus play out wide. We've dropped it down to standard, keeping it a little bit more simple. So here we are in game two against Oxford, the next friendly. Out wide to Tatonda, first time cross in, target forward header. Again, that's the goal we're looking for. Down the right hand side this time, little combination play between the wing back and the full back, deep cross and the winger comes onto the far post. And once again down the sides, which is really interesting because we stopped the focus play, but the wingers are doing their thing. Target forward through to his strike partner, that's 3-1. So we'll work with this template into the next friendly, which is against Wigan, another big test. Findings from that one, hard to say. They had a Manson off in the first minute. We didn't take advantage because I let it play through. We wanted to see how our team did. Ended up 1-1, loads of chances, but we go again. Next friendly, only tweak we're gonna do this time is gonna have a deep line playmaker in here. Seems to get a lot of the ball, but not using it well. So hopefully the distribution should help. Now half time against a really weaker team, it was good to see that we can create chances and dominate if we need to in the same sort of setup. So we watched the friendlies on comprehensive. One match, I watched full for half. But I saw what needed to change and I came up with the final version of the tactic we took into the season. And here it is. So by watching the friendlies, we finally came up with our final version of the tactic. We settled on the central midfield pairing with two CMs, one on support, one on defence. The two wingers were now support. Initially we had one on attack, but support meant they worked a bit harder on the way back as well. Central defence, we had one on the cover to counter-attack that through ball that comes over quite a lot, despite the relatively low line. And up front, we went with a target forward we switched to an advanced forward to give a bit more explosiveness, breaking the line. We did make a couple of tweaks to the team instructions as well. We did get the focus player back down both flanks and we went slightly wide. So it wasn't too wide, not too narrow, just a little touch. That was the only main change. In transition, we dropped the counter. Sometimes people get too obsessed with pressing both of these, thinking you have to press something. We just leave it off, let the players decide. And because they're in a structured formation, we'd be more disciplined. They choose when the right time to do it is. It's worked out really well so far, continuing to distribute to the fullbacks. And there's the final out of possession. It's mid block with a standard defensive line, but we do have that one centre back on cover who's going to drop back as well. Get stuck in. So far, so good. Only one red card so far this season. 1 0 win against Wimbledon. The good times kept rolling in the next game. More wing play from Tatunda to Mandron again. Make that times two. Centre back picks it up, has a little look. Central midfielder. 
There's the ball over we want to see to the winger. First time cross. This is nice. As the season rolls on, don't be scared to play around with mentalities either. In this one game, I've started on balance, then moved to attacking, and finally cautious. All three having a good effect. Now, I've just got a corner against Warsaw. We've just taken the lead. I've just switched to attacking because we were battering them. Now, with 15 minutes to go before half time, what I'll do is I'll switch it back to balance just so we can just calm it down. So far, so good. We'll carry on with balance for the first 10 minutes. We'll see how the game plays out. If we needlessly overcommit on attacking at this stage, the AI is good this year. They'll probably come back at us. So, we're going to stick on balance and we're going to switch to cautious after this highlight. And that's the way it's gone so far this season. Great results all across the board. That one defeat against Grimsby when we went down to 10 men. But other than that, Super happy, solid as well, scoring goals, it's looking good. Right there is the final lineup, the final lineup and the final tactic. You might notice a couple of new players there from the start. That's because we needed to recruit a couple in that striker position and a backup in central midfield. And that's the final section today, is recruiting for your wing player. So say you're short of a winger. You really need a winger, you want to play wing player, you don't have a good enough one. You're going to go and search for one. So you have a few options here, you can open up a recruitment focus, get your scouts looking for it, but sometimes I don't really trust my scouts, especially when I'm at lower league clubs. Or you can go old school and just find them yourself with a player search. Obviously you can siphon through all the wingers, try and find them, or you can use the views that you use on your own squad to judge it by attributes. So just like the squad view, you have options here, you have options. If you want to look by uh, attributes, get yourself up to here, attributes. The only problem is it doesn't break it down into positions. It breaks it down into physical, mental, tech, goalkeeping, defensive or attacking. If I choose attacking, for example, you can see it brings these up. Now, some of them we do need, such as crossing the dribbling, but some we don't need. So we need to zone in a bit more. And for that, I'm going to use one of my views again. When I got a custom and I got my views over here, bring a search, sting, in that goes. And now you can see across there, I've got the key attributes that I want for my winger across there. Now that's them all loaded in can take a little bit longer to find the player but when you find the right player like i just find this guy connor grant and he hits all my attribute points if i can get him on on loan it's a decent little backup right and obviously you can set your own up for each position that you feel like you need to search for it takes a little bit of time but it's well worth it so nearly there now we've built the squad we've built the tactics i'm going to show you the play instructions next so what we've got here is a wing play system that relies on the central midfield duo winning the ball back, distributing it to the wingers, and away we go. The wingers attack the byline, whip the balls in, and the strikers do the rest with a solid back four. Now as far as player instructions go, it can be a case-by-case -case basis depending on your player. For example, you'll see I've got my two fullbacks on the same roll, but they have very different player instructions because Alexander is a better attacking fullback, so for him, all I've got on is shoot less often. I don't feel the need to stifle him. On the other side, Akehurst, not as good, so I've got him pass it shorter and taking fewer risks. When he does cross the ball, because he's on the alternative side to the target forward, I want him to aim for that target forward, so he's going to aim for the back post. The other key ones are the wingers. Again, with the left-hand side winger, he is aiming for the target forward on the opposite flank. He's shooting less often. I don't want him shooting. I want him providing, get that bit further forward, which enables me to keep him on support rather than on attack. And I've got mark specific position. What's he marking? He's marking the opposite fullback, keeping us tight, not letting them have distribution that way. On the other side, the right-hand side, exactly the same, only difference, he's not specifically targeting the target forward on his crosses. The front two, they don't have any. I'm quite happy with what they do, the hard coded instructions and the way the roles play themselves. They're fine, but the vital two, the vital two are those two central midfielders, and you can see hopefully what I've done with them here. The defensive one, passing it shorter, taking fewer risks, and tackling harder. I want him smashing into the opposition, winning that ball back, and he's got hard coded hold position, so he's not going to wander around. And next to him, the slightly more attacking version, the support, he's going to get further forward naturally. But I do ask him to hold his position, meaning I don't want him drifting wide, drifting wide. I want him up and down in that zone, in that square we talked about. And yet again, tackling harder. And that's helped us to be one of the best tackling teams in the league. So I hope that makes the wing play philosophy a little bit more clear to you. It's a long video. Go through it step by step. But you'll see the basics. Winning that ball back hard in the middle. Keeping it solid. Letting the wingers do the attacking work. And your central midfields are there as a pivot. Win the ball back and distribute. I'm going to go away now and play the rest of this season with Julian and see if we can get promoted. Predicted to finish 16th, we've made two signings on free transfers, that's all we're going to do. If you're interested in how we go, let me know, I might even do a video about the Julian season. But any questions at all about the wing play, tactic, philosophy, bang them down below and I will get back to you.